There are many elements that make up a star, whether it be the basic idea of a star or something else. However, when it comes to the star that we most think about, there's three main elements that make it up, and those might include light, gas, and heat, represented here as a flame gas can and a lantern, hand lantern, or flashlight. Now there are many different types of stars that we're familiar with, but most of us take for granted and ignore the significance, well perhaps not most, but many of us anyway. The first of those is the police star being the entity that is a quote police officer and not in fact the individual that occupies that position but rather the position itself and the next is of course the movie star which is something that most are familiar with today because it's in our face just like the police star is now when it comes to a movie star there are also many elements that make up that movie star but of course there is also other forms of the star one of those is the corona or crown type of star being that the position of wearing a crown or the crown itself makes itself into a star like entity now when it comes to the very popular movie star that is made up by its hairdresser stylist perhaps clothing person, the agents, the so-called paparazzi, and then of course all the fans and everybody else that is involved in making up that individual and turning them into a bright entity or radiant. Now, of course, when it comes to those particular star mercenaries that most of us refer to as police or so-called law enforcement officers, well, they're made up of three main things also and that includes the badge or the star itself the light spectrum of red and blue and then of course the gun without all three of those elements the quote police officer or law enforcement officer does not actually retain the position that they're in because if you don't have the gun then you can't threaten people if you don't have the lights then you can't blind people and you can't project your presence and of course if you don't have the badge or the star then you have no uh, visible representation of quote unquote authority so these are the three main elements that make up the police entity not the individual actually wearing it that person is simply a vessel to carry out the intent of the one that controls the police force body now when it comes to the king a king is just like a police officer or as i like to call star mercenary because that individual is only made through the crown or corona that that individual wears and their presence is projected themselves through the object that is demonstrated to give them their radiant presence now there are many other stars and many other things that could be considered as stars and when it comes to a family the star of the family is usually going to be the baby or the child being the youngest is always or is usually the most radiant the most attention gaining the most quote attractive and here we get into this idea of gravity where something will either attract or repulse such as with the moon and the earth attracting and repulsing one another doing the push and pull which is what makes the tides move and then of course that is replicated in the repulsion repulsion that people feel to or attraction possibly to seeing the police star or the child in a family usually has an attractive quality to it and then naturally the attractive or repulsive quality that famous people the red carpet or other such types of symbols project either pushing someone away and making them uh, repulsed or 
drawing something to it and making them attracted. Now, of course, we're all distracted and our attentions are mostly blinded by so many different bright and radiant stars that are constantly forced into our faces. But you can usually tell where the position of a particular star is based off of where they put their presence, such as with Trump rallies, which are most were mostly held. I don't know if they're really still going on, but they're reported to anyway, but mostly held in towns that are outside of cities, which draws or imparts a gravity to that place or situation, drawing people to it or pushing them away. And I remember when Trump held a rally in a close section to my hometown in Ohio, it pretty much shut down the whole area. Every, all of the hotels were put, pushed to capacity. There was no place to park, it was hard to travel through that area, and there was a boom in commerce. So whenever you have a particular star, like say a king or a president or some sort of quote unquote famous entity that goes around to different places, wherever they go, they draw their gravity with them, and that location choice is what will tell you when what system they reside, such as with Obama, when he visited Ohio State University, I remember it shut down the city basically, it was very difficult to drive anywhere and it was very difficult to do anything really, but it demonstrates the importance of putting gravity to the university. And this is in conjunction with the allegedly opposition talking head of Ben Shapiro, who went and did numerous talks at different universities, and many of these university tours are designed to impart gravity to universities, the essentially the solar core of our modern city-state governance sort of system. Now, if you look up Google Maps at night, it actually looks like you're looking at an old star chart or something along those lines. And then if you look up universities, you'll notice that there is essentially a core of universities in virtually every city across the globe. And this is an ubiquitous presence that demonstrates the core function that the university serves as the entity that all city-states revolve around and in order to do this I went and searched different cities around the world in Brazil, in Ecuador, in Mexico, in Africa, two parts of Africa and of course in Moldova and with all of these examples it required the searching of university within the language of the region to get the bright picture that we see here. This relates to the solar model or the heliocentric model, which is ubiquitous among university symbology, such as with all of their symbols of light, projection, radiance, and all of these other things that have to do with being a radiant entity like a sun. Now, when it comes to year 2020, there were many neighborhoods that decided to put up blue lights outside of their houses. And this declaration had a practical intent behind it, but it was based out of the fact that the blue light does not mean support for, quote unquote, the police force as it was turned into, but rather that the blue light represents emergency stations such as with uh, railways or hospitals and is supposed to represent the color of safety. It's somewhere you go when you're in distress and you need assistance. And so when neighborhoods decided to put out blue lights on their houses, they changed the spectrum of that town or that part of that region or the area during nighttime 
lighting it up and that was a practical demonstration of who really controls the light spectrum of a constellation or galaxy that we live in on the face of of, of our planet in our localized concept of this system and this showed who controlled the area practically and that the individuals that live there would not allow it to be burned or destroyed and they showed that they are the ones that can affect change in that area not the star mercenaries mostly corrupt and and an entity that's controlled by the corrupt at least which go around robbing people at gunpoint certainly not going to protect the area or the residency now this solar imagery can be found in many different places mainly speaking the church with halos and of course quote unquote greco-roman symbolisms the jesuits and whatnot but the solar imagery has to do with the heliocentric model of a solar system and most nation states might be considered as a localized constellation or perhaps even a small galaxy sort of deal and at the center of those of course are governments and then at the center of our global universe is the united nations as they see it anyway which is practically speaking enforced through the presence of their blue black and white uniformed star mercenaries that go around and enforce UN regulations on everyone else and then naturally the Vatican are the keepers of the keys to that universe or to the kingdom thank you if you have enjoyed this content please check out my other options that are available such as my books that I publish as I am a writer and there are free books at the link also if you would like to support my work please do so at paypal cash app or buy me a coffee and stay tuned there will be more